score till their goal. You lost three straight face-off. Puck possession, sort of the, the key to that whole sequence? Yeah, you know, uh, it is. So four and four, you want to start with a puck, and, uh, you know, we weren't getting it. And, uh, you know, like even the last draw, I had, you know, we had a right-hand draw. I was hoping Miller could, could get it done. He was like six and one after two periods. And, you know, everything starts with a draw. You have the puck, then uh, you can do something offensively, and as long as you don't mismanage it. So, um, yeah, I mean, on the four and fours, they start with the puck every time. That's that's not not that's not good enough. Um, no loss at home. Uh, what, what's kind of been the issue here? You think that the guys are under five hundred? Yeah, um, no. We're, we're right now. We seem to be better road warriors than we are at home. So, uh, I think we're all three and one in our last four. So you know, we just got to get we got to get some wins at home. Um, you know, I always say that you can, you want to be at least 500 on the road, and then and then have a pretty good record at home, and that should put you in pretty good standing. But right now, we got to we improve our home record, and, and uh, obviously, we got to get some wins. Also, also, at the same time, you guys haven't had a lot of. I guess you haven't really had a very long home stand. Yeah, does that play into it? I don't know if it plays into it or not uh, in terms of our home stand or not, but. Uh, you know, um, no, we just, we've got to be better at home. We've got to be better at home. On a night like this, both goalies are kind of making some really terrific saves. What are you telling your guys in terms of trying to... Just keep throwing pucks at the net. I mean, uh, you know, we have to battle back, you know. You know, you know we, we talked about having a good start. Eight seconds in, we get a little bit of a tough bounce. I think it might have went off the, the referee and it bounced around and we couldn't get a handle on it. And, and then all of a sudden, eight seconds in the game and you're, you're down one nothing against a team that is is tremendously strong defensively. That you know, that's their calling card uh, when they they score the first goal, and we battled back, got a real timely goal right at the end of the period. Second period, I, I thought we we gave up a few too many chances, uh, just didn't manage the neutral zone as well as we, we we needed to. And then the third, I thought we were we were going pretty good, and we had some you know, had some glorious chances uh, in the in the period. And they you know we had two or three really good looks. I think it was Leggy had a great, you know, real great look, and the barber made a, you know, just outstanding save, and they come down and score. You know, that's that's sometimes a momentum killer for you. So, but we, we, we you know, we, we kept sticking with it, five on three. We got a got a, uh, a big goal there. We get it tied up, and then you know, you're, you're thinking, hey, you know, just keep pushing forward. We get to overtime and then see what happens. But you know, we took it on four and four, and we didn't want to draw there. That's where it starts. You know. Um, and we, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, you know, uh, that that's been an area all year that we've been a little inconsistent in, you know, in, in draws. So, um, you know, we just kind of got to have that draw. You know, I thought, uh, you know, Mules was six and one, I think, as I said, after two, and and um, you know, he's played a lot of four and four in in, in, in Milwaukee, so I was pretty comfortable putting him up there. So, um, but you know, we recovered, and we just didn't have close enough coverage on that last goal. Uh, Don made a, you know, a real great pass to the handle, and he didn't waste any time. The, uh, the timeout, too, did you have anything specifically you wanted to talk about there, or did you just want to give your guys a chance? Well, there was a little bit of both. Um, you know, they, uh, it's, it's, we knew that we had almost two minutes, so uh, with the group out there, I wanted to go, you know, probably a minute, and they, they, there's certain ways to kill, and what I had seen in their previous uh, games, they were, they killed a certain way tonight. They, they there was a little bit of switch, so we, we called time out and give them a little rest. Uh, put the other group on because they they deal deal with a, a little bit of a different penalty kill. That's what we call it. We call it a little bit non traditional, and uh, they're able to, to find a you know, find a way to get it in. So we got to tie it tied up, and you know at that point you're, you're going okay. Hey, you know just be real strong here. And, you know they end up uh, four and four and. They were started with the puck. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk to you yet since the 2 2 uh, suspension was announced. What's your take on the two games? Well, you know, my take, it doesn't matter what my take is now. He's got two games. I mean, it's, you know, I thought uh, my biggest disappointment in the whole thing, I, I really um, thought that, you know, for, from a guy like Jordan 2 2 was trying to do the right thing and, and not run into Miller. And, uh, and I just thought with, uh, what he was trying to do was make a hockey play and not run into Miller. Um, he did everything I thought humanly possible, and, and one thing that prevented him to do, from doing it was uh, 
I think it was Erhoff was wrapped around him with a stick and he got caught up in Miller. So, you know, he, he, he was went behind the goal line and just pulled him into Miller enough. But, uh, you know, it, I think, it, you know, timing and the league sensitive on, on the hit to, to Miller the first time. So it, it doesn't really matter. It, it's two games we're going to play without him. And, and uh, when he gets back, it'll be a big part of our, our team. Oh, I thought he was okay. Uh, you know, uh, he missed a, a few. He had uh, trying to shoot the puck a little bit, um, so he, he was fine. Uh, it's, it's sometimes when you miss a couple of games, it takes a while. I know I, I put him. He played with Spalding and uh, and Halischek, you know, tonight, and uh, just I felt that uh, the, the Smith Smith Fisher he rather been going pretty good in terms of the offense. So. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll reevaluate everything and you know go out of the end. Did he slash or did he do anything there other than? Uh, I really didn't. I, 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 I was surprised. I, I didn't see anything, but I haven't looked at it. Um, I was. I didn't know what what got that going. All of a sudden, you know, Morris is going after him. So uh, must have did something. Bubber and Suter back together again for the whole game. Yeah, just uh, you know, Yandel and, and uh, Whitney and them have been the, the dominant line for for the uh, the Coyotes, so that's where we went back to that. Two games in a row, you've played well and, and hadn't gotten the points. Is that more frustrating than? Yeah, it, it sometimes is. Yeah, because you play well and you think you should get points, and, and you don't. And then uh, you know, like I said in Vancouver, I didn't think we played well, but we got the two points and. Sometimes you try to make sense of everything, and it doesn't make any sense. And, uh, but uh, you know, we've been getting shot totals down. Our shot totals up, um, but we haven't consistently got to get. You know, I'm not looking for any big runs or you know, putting you know four or five or six games together. And, you know, you sort of got the mentality is there's so much parity in the league that if you just take it at a two or three pace. Uh, from now to the end of the season, you're going to be in good shape. So, just got to get out of our our win one lose one or, or win one lose two type of uh, situation we're in right now. Shots went seven, eleven, and seventeen for Phoenix. They increased every period. Is that a concern for you at all, or is that just a circumstantial thing? Well, I, I don't know. It, sometimes it's just the game. You know, um, it's the quality of shots that really matter. But to, you know, obviously they're throwing, trying to throw a lot of pucks there. Uh, you know, we'll we'll look at the chances uh, against where they're coming from and how they're they're developing. So uh, we'll evaluate that. But we're, we're, we have to shoot more. That's part of our 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 deal. You know, our I think we ended up pretty even in shots for the most part. I haven't seen the final yet. I guess I have right here. So uh, yeah, yeah. We've we've just got to maintain that a little bit better. Hornquist snapped his pointless streak tonight, but are you looking for more more out of them offensively? Well, we're looking more offensively from a lot of guys, uh, and as well as defensively. As, as much as we we want to want to score, we want to be able to to defend well too. It's got to be a, a, a real good balance. So, yeah, I, I need you know, everybody to, to step up right now, and um, you know, me included. I mean, everybody's we're in this together, and I was obviously the players, coaches, everybody we're in this together. So. I mean, we all got to step up right now. How difficult is it when you are virtually down from the get-go? <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, you know, it's like looking at a little bit of a mountain sometimes, and, or a big hill, and you're like, I just started, and, and I can't believe we're, or that hill is already there. Rather, when you think you're going for a, 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 a little bit of a, a walk on, a, on the prairies, and all of a sudden there's a mountain right there. So. That's how I would describe it sometimes. Thanks, all.